Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. She's she is soaked. It's snowing. Um, I'm gonna. How are you gonna get her out? I don't know because she runs. I know, I know. You're gonna have to. Oh, no. You... no, 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 no. I gotta get you warm. Come on, baby. Um, what I'll actually do, I'm gonna put her in the mama one. And we need to block it off. Give me a blocker. I gotta get a towel. Stay on her. Stop, Carly. Shh, it's okay. It's okay, Tika. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, stay under there. Should stay in here. Oh yeah, look at those teats. Yeah. All right, so y'all seen it. Teacup was actually trapped inside the water. She probably got on top of it whenever there was ice. And yeah, so we got her out though. She's okay. I was checking on Mama G. Mama G's doing really good right there. She still hasn't had her kids. All the babies are doing good. Hey, Mama. Where's your babies? Oh, there's your babies. What is this? Uh, oh, there's her babies. Will you make those houses? Put them down like they were. All right. There's her babies. I'll tell you, uh, and then put that one over the top of them because they want inside of it. Just flip it over to get that, to try to knock that ice out. All right, now I'm just kind of get it out of the way. They like jumping on them too. You can go inside if you want to. Thank you for helping me. All right, so we got Mama uh or red bear right here there's her three babies we've got the two babies inside there teacup actually looks pregnant now that i actually got a close look and she's got some teats and um yeah she looks pretty pregnant so we will keep her inside here anyways <laughs> we got the billy and latte and mocha all in there <laughs> mama g got back in her shelter over here cry baby and her baby i know teacup you're all right you need to go in the warm all right so y'all seen it teacup was actually trapped inside the water she probably got on top of it whenever there was ice. And yeah, so we got her out though. She's okay. 
I was checking on Mama G. Mama G's doing really good right there. She still hasn't had her kids. All the babies are doing good. Hey, Mama. Where's your babies? Oh, there's your babies. What is this? Uh, oh, there's her babies. Will you make those houses? Put them down like they were. All right. There's her babies. I'll tell you. And then put that one over the top of them. Because they want inside of it. Just flip it over to get that. To try to knock that ice out. All right. Now I'm just kind of get it out of the way. They like jumping on too. You can go inside if you want to. Thank you for helping me. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got Mama uh, or Red Bear right here. There's her three babies. We've got the two babies inside there. Teacup actually looks pregnant now that I actually got a close look, and she's got some teats and um, yeah, she looks pretty pregnant. So, we will keep her inside here anyways. <laughs> we got the Billy and Latte and Mocha all in there. <laughs> Mama G got back in her shelter over here. Cry baby and her baby. I know, Teacup. You're all right. You need to go in the warm See, Dad, aren't you glad you went home when you did? This is all ice. It's almost like Sonic ice. Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So last night, Braylee went home with Papa and Anna. She wanted to stay the night with her cousin, Ziri. And then Kaysen stayed the night with Aunt Brooke and Uncle Cody because Sawyer, which is, he's almost three, but he's a rambunctious little three-year-old. <laughs> and he needed someone to play with to kind of keep mom and dad sane. So, Casey went and stayed night with them. Well, we're getting ready to head over and pick both of them up. But first, we needed to get in here and check on all the goats, see if Mama G had her babies, see if any of them had babies break eyes, and just kind of do our morning chores. So that's what we're getting ready to do. So Layton likes to break ice. That is for right now anyways, until he gets older and has to do it every single day. <laughs> but he, be careful when doing it. I know it's cold, so we'll have to hurry. It is 20 degrees. And why don't you use it the other way? Yeah, but be careful. There you go. There you go. There you go. I see the water running. <laughs> Keep doing it around the same place, bub. Oh, gloves. yeah. Here, let me just go ahead and break some of it up. Here. I just want to break it up enough for them to get some water so that they can stay warm. It is pretty cool, though. <laughs> Can I have a few gloves? No, we don't need teacup getting in there. No. So, we need to break it all up. Ah, come on now. One, two. Why did this... Oh, why is this not in there? Oh, it's not working? It's not even plugged in. Are you sure? Your dad that? must have unplugged it. Ah, y'all go. <laughs> Please. Good enough for right now. Um, let's go do this little one real fast. warm. Latte actually stays inside there. 
Huh? You trying to get warm? All right, let's go ahead and go though. No new babies. <laughs> All right. And Mama G, she's staying in here, but there's no babies yet. I think she will end up having her babies right there, though. And all the other babies are doing good. I don't know how, if y'all seen that, there was a pony back there that was rolling in the snow. All right, well, that's all we're going to actually do right now because we have to go get the little kids. But that was pretty much enough that I don't want to come back out here because I don't like the weather. I do not like it being cold, but I will do what I have to do to protect these animals because I mean, they're like our own kids and they need a protection too. So I hope y'all enjoy and watch the rest of this video. All right. Well, Brandon has not made it back from editing just yet. And I thought it'd be, just be nice to the wood barrel thing inside the pond. I thought it'd be nice to just already have it done for him so he doesn't have to get back out in the cold since he obviously has to work in the cold. I know a lot of times there's not a lot of people out when it's super snowy and stuff, but so he gets to just ride in his car, I guess. But um, I thought it'd be nice anyways to put some wood into the fire and just keep it going. And that way Brandon doesn't have to get out again. So I'm gonna try to do this one handed because I cannot find the actual um, uh, camera stand. So I'm just gonna use this smaller selfie stick, which should work perfect. So let's go see if we can get this done by myself. All right, it's still going. That's good for me because I don't have to try to get it started. Um, let's hop over here. Okay. And I got my good flashlight. See if I can turn it on with gloves on. I'm wearing gloves. Okay. So I'm going to actually lay this flashlight down facing the water. And y'all can see with it, us starting it earlier today, it is already unfreezing most of it. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of these logs back in here. I'm gonna lay this flashlight down right there. That should give enough light.
All right, it's still going pretty good, but I kind of, a part of me wanted to surprise Brandon with um, putting wood in it and him not having to come out here. But another part of me is wondering if he actually wants to put this huge log in so that it'll keep going all night long. I'm pretty sure that's what he's gonna wanna do and that's gonna require him being here because I can't lift it. So I'm gonna go ahead and call him and see if that's what he wants to do. And um, if so, then we're gonna go ahead and get the baby goat because the one that is getting bottle fed every day, three times a day, it's, it's a little bit later than normal, but it's time to feed him. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I just got off the phone with Brandon and I'm pretty sure the way it sounded when he told me no, don't put the log in, was that it's way too heavy. So we're not gonna be doing that, not right now anyways. We're just gonna fill this buddy up with a bunch of these little logs. So I'm gonna set y'all back down, fill it up, and then go head into the baby goat. We're gonna go ahead and go get that baby goat so that we can get him some feed and call it a night. Cause I know I'm getting sleepy and all the kids are already asleep. Look, I was just talking about Brandon's gonna be home in a little bit. I wonder if he's gonna stop. Oh, uh, nope. I'm gonna go pick him up though because I know he'll wanna go look. You're missing all the fun. I know, I've been editing. I've got some packages here for you. Okay, you're forgiven. All right. <laughs> I think, uh, one of these we've been waiting on, I think. I hope this is what it is. But I'm kind of disappointed both of the heaters didn't come in. Wait, man, let me, let me put this in park so I don't run you over. <laughs> I don't want to blind you. So this is one of the heaters, but I ordered two. This is a floating one. Um, so we'll probably need to go out there and get it plugged in real quick. So if you want to kill that real quick, we'll go out there. You know what's in the other packages? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's see. This and yours. Yeah. You can open it. This came from... Oh, I see those orange. Oklahoma <laughs> State Cowboys. That's awesome. That's nice. Yeah. And that comes from Mr. TC. Awesome. Thank you so much, TC. And this one is Stephanie. Oh, and it's orange. I love when stuff is orange. Don't tell me it's extra large. That's the same shirt. Yeah, it's... A... <laughs> he went ahead and ordered... An extra large? An extra large. Aw. Was your... What was the other the one? The other large? one was a large. Did it fit you? No. Oh. Well, he uh, ordered uh, ordered you another one. Thank you so much, TC. We greatly appreciate all your uh, kindness. Really do. So let's go out yes. here. Thank you, TC. I love them. Let's go out here and get this baby plugged in. Are there any babies out there yet? I don't think so. When we fed earlier was the last time. I haven't checked yet. I was actually on my way over here to get the um, baby boy goat, and I was going to take him inside the camper and feed him. Oh, cutie pie. See, they're still snacking on that feed. That still well, broke up for a second. Uh, <laughs> I left a bunch of them out there because I wanted them to. Oh, what 
you doing? You think you got a surprise? Huh? Stud wants some water. Some warm water. This is a floating tank deosser. I've never used one, so we will put it in here and see what it does. You probably don't have your zip ties on you, though, do you? No. We can get them real fast. I'm not hurrying. Kind of disappointed the other one's supposed to be here, too. I think it has to be a certain temperature before it starts getting warm. Oh, boiled butter. <laughs> it's warm. Yeah, it's warm. Let me go on the other side. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's already melting it. Yeah, it's already putting like holes in the ice. I guess it just looks like it's icy. That's crazy. Wow. No one touched that thing. Well guys, my hero has returned with more firewood. We're just burning through the wood. Literally. It, it has definitely burnt a bunch. But as long as it keeps this pond from um, freezing over, we'll be good. Night it was out there, but this morning the fire had already died down, and I filled put more wood in it this morning. But it was died down by the time I got home. I bought a half a rick of wood. We just got to make it through the next few days. We'll probably have to buy another half a rick of wood um, just to. Keep it from freezing. All right, let's go back up towards the house.